This is your slim arms and legs dumbbell workout. Hey guys, it's Kristen here, and today we have a slim arms and legs dumbbell workout. It's going to be 12 minutes long, so all you need is a light set of dumbbells. I'll be using one kilo dumbbells, and then you just need a mat. So pause the video, do a quick warm up, and let's get ready to go. I've set my gym boss to 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest for 12 rounds. So we have um, six exercises that we go through and then we do a repeat and there's a few exercises that you do on right and left. So when we do the repeat, we'll change them over to the other side when necessary. So you don't need anything to start, just yourselves. You've done your warm up, yeah? And let's get ready to go. So everything is pretty much a compound movement. So we're working the arms and legs at the same time. We're starting with our arms out to the side. We're doing a bicep curl and a sumo squat. Down and up, down and up. So we're not counting reps, we're just going for 50 seconds. And I just really want you to focus on the technique and squeezing through your glutes on the way back up, squeezing those biceps as you curl in, pressing your hands out, squeezing the triceps on the way out. The more muscles we can think about squeezing, the more beneficial your workout's going to be. So it's really controlled, really squeezing on the way up, pressing out. Good, so you have 10 seconds just to turn to one side. So this is my right foot forward, so if you're mirroring me, it might be different, but I'm now in a split stance. What I'm going to do is bend my elbows here to make a W shape. I'm going to lunge, and then as I extend my legs, I'm pressing my arms up to a high V. So I bend and press. Bend and press from a W to a high V. A W to a high V. Down and up. Just make sure you're pressing through that front heel. For me, it's my right heel, and you're really bending that back knee down. This is amazing to work those little muscles in the arms because we're flipping the palms in and out. Really tones up the shoulders and gives you lots of nice definition in the upper arm. Awesome, we bring it back to the front. Bring the feet just underneath your sit bones and you're going to have a deadlift and row. So we're gonna go down, lift the elbows out to the side, down, and stand up, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the butt forward, lift, lower, and squeeze. Down, lift, lower, and squeeze. So the palms are facing your shins today, and you're squeezing into the upper back, lifting those elbows out to the side, so we almost are making that broken scarecrow position. or bringing those arms to 90 degrees. I really want you to feel pressing your heels through the floor, squeezing your glutes at the top. So this is amazing to lift your booty. I'm really toning up your back muscles at the same time. Fantastic, you're going to turn to the side again. Whatever side you just faced, Turn to it again, so you're in that split stance, but then turn your feet out, so you're in a turned out position. You're gonna drop it down to a curtsy, and then hinge forward. I'm gonna tap my hips, I'm gonna go drop down in that curtsy, and then kick my back leg up and extend my, my arms. So it's a tricep extension, and then a kick. Curtsy, and kick. Curtsy, and kick. Curtsy, and kick. Squeeze into the back of the arm. Remember you can go as slow as you need to. If the balance is completely throwing you, you might want to take out the kick and just do a bend and extend the leg. All right, shake out those arms, 10 seconds. And our next move, our feet are going to be in parallel. We're hinging forward at the hips, 
We're gonna step one foot out as we fly, bring it in, and then change legs. And then step it out and fly. Step it out and fly. So you're holding that squat, and then stepping those legs deeper. Squeeze into those shoulder blades. This is amazing for those postural muscles. Amazing for the legs. Staying in that challenge zone the whole time, you guys. I want you to fight through this now. Get this for the food. Fantastic. All the way up and down to the mat. So we're gonna work into the chest and glutes. We're gonna go. Press, release, and lower. Lift, press, release, and lower. So you can just hover those arms off the floor the whole time. This is a really amazing compound conditioning workout where you're working lots of different muscle groups at the same time so we can really effectively work the whole body in a very short span of time. We don't need to spend hours in the gym or hours at home working out. You can get so much done in just 12 minutes. All right, all the way up. Round two. Feet wide, sumo squat. Arms reach out to the side and bend. chest lifted, keep your elbows lifted. It's not very, very confusing. Hopefully you'll improve your coordination by doing all these different movements that work the upper body and lower body at the same time. I absolutely love that. We are going to really get those slim arms and legs. What I'd love to do is after you do a warm up, you might want to pair a little four minute Tabata workout with this and one of my eight minute ab workouts. And you have a really, really nice workout that really gets the heart rate up, really tones up the arms and legs and the core. And that's it, you're done. So warm up, a Tabata, this, an abs and a stretch. That's an amazing workout. This time, we turn to the other side and I'll have my left foot forward. I'm bending into my lunge and pressing my arms up. W to a high V. So make all these short workouts count for you guys. This might be enough for you today. And if you want to do more, all you do is pair this with a few other of my other workouts. And there you go. You can create the perfect workout for you. So, I am not even doing a whole lot of cardio here. My heart rate is high. Just taking those weights overhead. Keep pressing that front heel through the floor, bending that back knee down. Keep flipping those hands as well. Palms in, palms out, palms in, palms out, and release. Good work, guys. Bring the feet underneath your sit bones. And double with the row. You are down, row, lower, and left. Down, row, lower. If this feels like it's going into the shoulders too much, you guys, you could even take it where your palms are forward and bring the elbows up to the ceiling so it goes more into mid-back. So if you have really tight shoulders, just change it around a little bit. You can go into here as well. We don't often do the upright row, so I'm going to just commit to that one today, guys. I don't mind doing it when it's quite light weight. Really control it. Fantastic. You turn back to the same side you just lunged to. But remember, now we turn the legs out. We find that curtsy, so bend the knees and hinge forward, hands to your hips. 
curtsy and kick. You bend your elbows and lengthen up the length of the arms for that tricep extension. Down and up. So now we're really getting into that glute as we kick that foot back, getting into the back of the arms, really squeezing those triceps back. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta stay with me. Think about how good you're going to feel once you've completed these 12 minutes. up through the chest. You just gotta stay with it guys. I know you can do it. So I really want you to squeeze. I really want you to add more resistance, add more weight to it. And if you prefer, quickly swap weights and grab a heavier set of dumbbells if you have them. That would be fine as well. But I absolutely love this workout. We've literally just hit the arms and legs so well. a lot of core working as well, so it's fantastic. Well done, guys. Pop those weights down. And relax. So give yourself a nice upper body and lower body stretch. You might want to take some shoulder stretches, some tricep stretches, opening up through the chest. Take your time to this relax, cool down, stretch it out, stretch those legs, hamstring stretches, and of course my squeeze stretch and quad stretch. So whatever you need, finish on that stretch. And so thank you for training with me, you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, please go head over to my website and sign up so you get uh, new emails from me every week, checking in with you guys, seeing how your training is going, giving you some nice health and fitness tips. And uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until then, I can't wait to see you on the next workout.